Heather. Feather. You might have noticed that I haven't posted content in a, a teensy weensy amount of time. I make ASMR videos for you for when the world gets too loud. I film alone and it's always very quiet. And it's just me and you hanging out. And I try to give you the good pieces of me in the hopes of helping you relax, smile, tingle, and sleep. I have wanted to post for so long and have intended to come back so many times, but life stuff would trip me up. I tried to avoid making a video addressing this because I want this channel to be a sanctuary for you. I want you to come here and feel good. And it was really hard for me to reconcile wanting that for you and talking about what was going on in my life. But I think in not doing so, the majority of people didn't know what was going on, even though I tried to be as transparent as possible in comment replies on YouTube and through text posts on Facebook and Twitter and Reddit. That's my fault. But I needed to not talk about things for a while because it was really hard for me to talk about things. Earlier in the year, my father died unexpectedly, and it sort of broke my brain. In learning how to navigate death, it was very difficult for me to be alone with myself for very long because I was feeling profoundly despondent and I didn't feel like I had any good pieces of me left. The truth is that I had a hard time putting my brain back together. I didn't anticipate that I would struggle so much. So I can't thank you enough for sticking with me, being kind, understanding, patient, and for trusting that I would never, ever abandon this channel. I have never loved anything more than I love creating for and with all of you. I just needed time to pick myself up. Even though I hadn't been posting content, I have been working hard on multiple videos and keeping a few secrets that I have wanted to tell you about for a really long time. I have kept these secrets because I didn't want to mention them until they were done, just in case anything fell through. But I'm very excited and proud to show you what I have been doing. I have moved into a new home. I loved my old house so much, but over the past couple years, my house is becoming more and more inundated with ASMR props and equipment. My sister was living with me, and she'd always be upset with me when she couldn't sit at the table to eat, or if my softboxes, my lights, were obscuring her special time with Olivia Benson. I found a home with a large basement that I thought would be perfect for a recording space. After lots of agonizing deliberation, I took the plunge. I literally moved into a house because I fell in love with the basement, and I decided to try and create a space for my channel in my home that would allow me to work and live more productively. 
During this time, I was having my new basement professionally renovated into a sound studio. Using every cent of support donated by patrons on Patreon and almost the entirety of my personal savings. This is the basement before the construction. After putting up sheetrock, the builders applied a crazy amount of this stuff called green glue, and it's an acoustic sealant that prevents sounds from leaking through the seams. They then put up a layer of quiet rock, which our panels engineered to reduce and isolate sounds. I couldn't pay for them to prime and paint the basement because it was way too expensive. So for a couple weeks, my family and I primed and painted the walls and ceiling. <laughs> Let me tell you, even with a roller, it is hard for a 5'2 girl to paint a ceiling. And I messed up a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Everywhere. I chose different colors for the walls so that I can have different backdrops and sets for various types of videos. The basement was super echoey, even if you are speaking softly. I have a voice message I left a friend where you can hear it. Can you hear it? You have to help me get rid of all this echo. Because this is not good for So even though I loved the concrete floor, because I wanted the roller skate on it, I ended up buying carpet. It diminished a good amount of the echoing, but I was definitely going to need foam acoustic panels. The problem was that treating the room with the foam panels was going to cost an additional $5,000 to $10,000. So I definitely needed another solution. My friend helped me build six six foot by four foot wood frames out of two by fours. And we attached wheels to the feet and fastened acoustic ceiling panels to the wood frames. And then we glued 144 acoustic foam panels to the acoustic ceiling boards and created these gigantic mobile walls that I can move around me in any way I desire to create the best sound possible for recording. It's so trippy recording in them. It's, it's a level of quiet that I personally have never experienced before, so it's taken a bit of getting used to. We built 50 shelves, most on casters and wheels, and I organized all of my props and equipment. And I have to say, 50 out of 50 were zero fun. <laughs> I hate building shelves. But they're also super handy because when I want to do a certain video, I can just wheel out the shelving unit of my choice and then put it back in the storage room when I'm done. <laughs> I know, I know it looks messy, but everything is organized by category for my channel. So I have a spa shelf, a weapon shelf, Pokemon shelves, Doctor shelves, Candy Queen shelves, Top Trigger shelves, DIY shelves. <laughs> you name it, there's a shelf for it. So going in, you can see the stairs, and that's the inspiration wall. Those were gifts from a friend when I was feeling very down. Uh, they hope that they would inspire me, and they have. I really want to put up pictures that you guys have made and sent to me, because I think it would be awesome to look at them as I go into the studio. <laughs> I think those would be super inspiring as well. And then there's more stairs leading down into the actual studio. It's labeled ASMR, not for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It stands for Awesome Sound Making Room. Ta-da! This is what it looks like after months and months 
of hard work. Everything had to be done to code, so there are a gajillion electrical outlets, <laughs> and they almost all have paint on them somewhere. <laughs> because, because I am an awful painter. To the left is my office area, and then to the right is the main storage room. There are three storage closets, but they're very small, and they are filled to the brim with building and paint supplies right now, so I'm not going to show you inside though, because it's really messy. There's also a door that uh, looks like a closet, but is basically just a door covering pipes. You can see the different paint colors on the walls for different filming sets. It sort of looks like a child's playroom. The periwinkle wall was the worst to paint because it required four coats of paint. That was super frustrating. My favorites are the, the beigey cream colored walls. I also got new lights because my old soft boxes are about three years old and even when they were brand new, they always had a slight hum to them when they would turn on. It would sound like, As time went on, the lights began to literally fall out of their sockets, and I would shove them back in, um, but the humming or buzzing grew and they became unusable. I got new lights that have lots and lots and lots of little LEDs, and the nice thing about these lights is that they don't have that same humming sound to them on their own, so I can keep them much, much closer to this mic, which is super, super sensitive. They also have little dimming switches, so I can adjust the brightness. And I got this thing that you plug into an outlet so that if the power ever goes out, it's motion activated to turn on and illuminate the area. So since there's no natural light down here, it's definitely handy to have because I have been in here in complete darkness before and it's very scary. And these are my red insect relocators. There's the Yeti mic and my desk and more shelves. I hate shelves. And there's my calendar with all the things that I hope to accomplish each day for the channel. This is an illustration from a children's book I am publishing in hopefully about a month. Some of you may remember in 2013, I wrote a story for this channel and I narrated it and illustrated it. And the response was so well received and sincere. It's a story about a boy named Ally who breaks walls and a girl named Scary who is made of rock and sand. They find each other and they have adventures together and form a friendship that spoke to hundreds of thousands of people. It really seemed to resonate with people of all ages viewers were making fan art, and people were writing songs inspired by the story, and I decided to make a real book out of it. After stumbling quite a bit along the way, I decided to reach out to the first person to ever make fan art for me. You might be familiar with this picture. This was fan art gifted to me on October 23rd, 2012, by a wonderful lady named Celia when I had less than 2,000 subscribers. I thought it would be sort of beautiful if the first person to ever make fan art for me was the first person to illustrate one of my stories. So I asked her if she was interested, and she said yes. And her illustrations are phenomenal. I can't show them all now, but I will show more in the future. She's brought the story to life in a way that I could have never imagined. I didn't tell her what to illustrate. She took the story in 
and her brain and her hands created masterpieces. She interpreted it so poignantly and beautifully, and I can't wait for you to be able to see it all come together. It would mean the world to me to know that somewhere parents of children are reading my book together like my mom used to read to me before bed when I was little. And it would bring me a, a lot of joy. So this is my office. This is where I work and edit. This is where I will be streaming from. This is the 3DO Omni Mic. And as you can see, it has eight ears instead of two. And you'll be hearing the magic of this mic in future videos. Different Oculus models that I've worked with. For Pixelipt, that's the mic that you're hearing me on now. The Free Space Pro 2. And this is the first 3 dl microphone ever used in an ASMR video. And I think the second 3 dl ever used in a YouTube video in general. And this is my little Snorlax. I want to turn you all into Snorlax. <laughs> Let me be your Jigglypuff. This is my motorized table. I just have to press these buttons to make it go up and down. And this is because I do a lot of work and editing sitting in one position for long, long periods of time. And it's really not good for you. So I can alternate between standing and sitting while I work. The beauty of all this is that it allows me to film during the day. Because for the last four years I have worked on real life obligations during the days and then worked on videos and editing at night to try and avoid any loud noises that would detract from your immersion or enjoyments like lawnmowers, cars, dogs barking, children playing, zombie outbreaks, the huge. This studio will allow me to create videos at any hour, which will increase my output, and I might be able to sleep like a human being again, <laughs> which will make me a healthier, happier, and more efficient feather. And most importantly, it will lead to you having more of the content you love at your eardrums. It was a huge risk for me to do this, and it came at a great cost. Even with years of saving your donations, I still utilize the majority of my own personal savings to do this. So, I'm sort of starting from scratch now, and that's really scary. But this is my passion. And it feels like we're doing this as a team. And that means a lot to me. Even though I am so proud of this studio, that's not the main reason that I'm showing it to you. I'm showing you this because I want you to know how grateful I am. You've put faith in me. And you've allowed me to do what I love most in the world. And I wanted to show you this because I want to make you proud. I want you to see that I have invested every bit of your support back into this channel. I feel endlessly and relentlessly indebted to you all. I cannot adequately express my gratitude to every single person who helped me achieve this by donating to my Patreon or PayPal. I do not take a single penny lightly or for granted. Whether you are a subscriber, a lurking viewer, a commenter, a creator, a PayPal or Patreon contributor, you are the beating heart of this channel and community. I don't know who I would be, or where I would even be without you. So thank you so much to those who have stuck with me and to those presently considering supporting this channel's future.
I am sorry that I was away for so long, but I never really left, and now it feels like I'm home again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And I will see you soon in a new video. Good night. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. P.S. I would like to give a special shout out to Ordinary Average Guy and Chav P.L., who for months fielded comments and questions on my videos. Your generosity with your time and assistance made it possible for me to take time for myself, which ultimately helped me heal. And a very, very special shout out to ASMR Gaffer, who reached out and helped me find my way back when I was lost. So thank you so much for being wonderful people. I'm going to put a headband contraption over your head. It has electrodes in it. I'm just going to turn it on and it's going to adjust to the size of your head so that it fits comfortably.